Good evening again from Yami B TV. Sending loads of love to you as usual. Right, a big question being asked of me and I never ever got around to answering it, but I remember hearing about this uh, from my early, earliest of days around the old lot, which would have been about the middle eighties uh, onwards, if you get what I mean. And, and by old names, I mean the Craze, I mean the Richardsons, I mean Frasers, I mean Foreman, I mean that kind of era there. Now, the one question that always has been asked for me to clarify it, and I hope I've got this spot on, right? Scott, please, please slow down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> too many messages all at once right so we're talking about a terminology or a group of people that were called the long firm now from what i remember long firm means right and i'm hearing the richardson's very 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 intelligent men uh apparently i didn't get to meet many of them along the years right but very very bright and always first uh, to come up with uh, different kind of coups in that life if you get what i mean you know when we say coups we mean new things happening around criminality and being the first of its kind uh to find it and then obviously you get the first uh, load of money. Like when the computer chips came out, whoever was first onto that made a bomb until everybody started doing it. But even up to today, the long firm, right, uh, even from the beginning of time up to now, still used today, was a thing like this. Now, just saying you buy 10 TVs from Curry's and you've got business adventures overseas or with other parties and you get the 10 TVs, you do business straight, uh, the money changes hands, everybody's satisfied, fine, shake hands on it. And then you build up the trust thing, uh, which many, many, many men are using even up till today. So this is not something new. This is something really old. And the Richardsons I'm hearing are at the forefront of this early stuff here. I could be wrong, allegedly, you know, quote me if you will. Um, but then it gets round to, I've got a million TVs, you know, just saying, using TVs as an example. Um, and, you know, business has always run smoothly with sets of people. So why shouldn't they think, well, it's a bigger deal with more money. Uh, everything else seems to have always gone right when working with um, this one and that one, allegedly. Why shouldn't um, this one? So it's kind of winning. It's a bit of a trickster thing, winning over people's confidence. Uh, 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 anyway, I used we used to use this with jewelry as well, uh, way back in the day as well. So again, something uh, that's gone from old to new times as well. But apparently, then uh, you get a million TVs, or you ain't got the TVs at all, and you say to the the person you're doing business with, "There's been a big explosion." in the garage and everything's gone up in smoke. So for now, sadly, this business adventure has gone wrong, but at another stage, we can do another bit, bit, bit more business and you can get your money back that way. So really, it's a kind of con, like I've said already, trickstery, jestery, uh, winning people's confidence, that kind of stuff. But I believe the craze were one of the first of its kind for the naming of the long firm, right? So any other any other versions, any other people that remember this kind of stuff, please let me know because uh, it'd be nice to have more knowledge if you get what I mean. The other question being asked of me about the general uh, overseas, if you get what I mean, um, about whether they used to use pigeons to carry gold nuggets and bars across from wherever over to England and they reached their destinations. Was that facts or was that fiction? I can say that I totally believe that that part of things is facts. Uh, that yeah, pigeons were used. I think some of you can say, yeah, my Uncle Yummy, I knew that already. Well, no, uh, there's some people asking me out here that don't. Uh, or have heard such things, but don't know if it was real or it, or it wasn't. Uh, but from along the years, the people that I've been away with, and you know I've been away with a lot of people, um, 
Um, I believe that that is absolute fact as well. So answering that question about the long term and what it actually means, Uncle Yabby breaks it down today. Uh, it might have come from way back in the old days. It's still used up to today. But I'm of the belief that out of the three, four big organisations uh, that are legendary in true crime, believing the Richardsons were one of the first of its kind to use that kind of method and that kind of um, know-how to win over people to make money, if you get what I mean. Sending loads of love, more coming up tonight.